Great power competition is back, and so are surface navies. As any student of history will tell you nationalist rivalries drive naval construction, going back to the days of the Greeks and the Persians. After a quarter century hiatus, shipyards are again building large destroyers and even cruiser-sized vessels. All of the world's most powerful surface combatants operate in the latest rivalry between major powers, this time in the Asia-Pacific region. The five most powerful surface ships on the planet are means to an end, board game pieces in the struggle between the dominant military powers of post-war Asia, the United States, Japan, and authoritarian states, Russia and China, challenging the status quo. Kirov-class missile cruiser The largest surface combatants built by any power in the years after World War II. The Kirov-class ships are often referred to as battlecruisers because of their sheer size and firepower. The four Kirovs are each 823 feet long, 80% of the length of a U.S. Navy supercarrier, with a beam of 93 feet. The ships displace 24,300 tons, and can make speeds of up to 32 knots due to the presence of a Kona's combined nuclear and steam propulsion system that generates 600 megawatts of power. Of the four original ships only two, Petroveliki and Admiral Nakamov, are still in service. The ships were originally armed with 20 P-700 granite ramjet anti-ship missiles, each of which could carry a 1,500-pound high explosive or nuclear warhead. Fast and powerful, the Kirovs were positioned to hunt down and destroy American aircraft carriers carrying nuclear weapons that could threaten Moscow's missile submarine sea and the Soviet homeland. Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser The Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers were the first American ships equipped with the SPY-1 radar, SM-2 air defense missiles, and the Aegis combat system. Although considered multi-purpose ships capable of engaging in anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, the main mission of the cruisers was to defend U.S. Navy carriers and other large, high-value assets from mass aerial attack. The Ticonderoga-class ships have some of the largest missile magazines in the world, with a total of 122 vertical launch silos capable of carrying SM-2 and SM-6 air defense missiles, SM-3 ballistic missile interceptors, evolved Sea Sparrow short-range air defense missiles, Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles, or ASROC anti-submarine rockets. The ships are also capable of carrying the Navy's new long-range anti-ship missile, new anti-ship versions of Tomahawk, and the Harpoon anti-ship missile. Arla Burke-class guided missile destroyer Named after the famous destroyer commander, the Arla Burke-class destroyers are the most numerous large surface combatants. In many ways the Burke class was a successful shrinking down of the Ticonderoga class's sensors and armament, minus a 5-inch gun and 26 vertical launch silos, into a smaller platform. Type 055 class guided missile destroyer The latest large surface ship to enter production, the Type 055 class guided missile destroyers are the latest to join the People's Liberation Army Navy. A follow-on to the Type 052 class, the ships are larger and more capable than any other ship in the plan and likely stiff competition for the Ticonderoga class cruisers. <laughs>